What's up everyone, today I'm gonna teach you how to draw a cuddle pool from Fortnite. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my welcome tablet, but you can follow through my tutorial with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, sharpie or crayons. I'm gonna start with drawing her head shape, so we're gonna draw an oval shape, which is more more like in between an oval and a circle. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead with drawing her um, ears. So I'm gonna go at this top left corner of the head and draw a zigzag line across that section and gonna look like a semicircle overall okay and the inside of that I'm gonna draw another uh, semicircle following the overall shape of the ear like that and then I'm gonna go ahead and draw the same ear on the right side Now, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw her mouth. So we're gonna draw in the center of the head here, slightly below a left shape. So I'm gonna draw um, a left shape there. And then in the center below that left shape, I'm gonna draw a curve, a line downwards and then be and then on both sides, I'm gonna draw um, a semicircle to the sides. And then on both sides of that line there, I'm gonna extend that with a semicircle turn to towards the nose above it and just draw across from one point to the other. And then on the lower part of that curve, on the left, I'm gonna draw a curve line down and cross and go back up on the other side. And then inside of that shape, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna trace a similar line like that. Now for her eyes, I'm gonna draw her right eyes here. So I'm gonna draw a diagonal line on the top right side of the mouth, downwards and to the right. Then I'm gonna do another diagonal line upwards to the right. And then from that point, I'm gonna draw a another curve line upwards and then from that point I'm gonna draw a diagonal line to the center of the face and to the left and then I'm gonna connect those two points together with a straight line down and inside of the shape I'm gonna draw a circle Okay, and at the top point of the e eye, I'm gonna draw a straight line up, and the same goes to the lower point here. And then I'm gonna repeat the whole thing on the left side.
Okay, now going down to her outfit. Now going back to her um, left eye, I'm gonna add. Some small rectangular shape above the eye. Right there. And another one above that. Okay, now we're going down to her outfit. So I'm gonna draw on the below her head a curve line downwards on both sides. That's her neck. Now I'm gonna turn it to the side to the shoulders and turn it down diagonally. Then make a semicircle turn at the elbow, in, and for the inner line of her hands, I'm gonna draw the same direction. And then here, from this point, I'm gonna draw the um, left side of her body so we're gonna draw a curve line in and then back out at the waist I'm gonna stop there for now now for her gloves for her hands, I'm gonna just extend this line to the body and on this side, I'm gonna do a curved line slightly down and from this point here, I'm gonna draw a curved line up to the side of the hand and turn it to the side. And then on her wrist, I'm gonna draw a curved line across and another one above that and another one above the elbow another two above the elbow and slightly above that I'm gonna draw another one there and another one here and at the side of that arm I'm gonna draw a semicircle and then a curve line and a curve line back to that line and a small line in the middle and then I'm gonna mirror the whole thing on this side as well and then going back to her the right side of her body we're gonna draw her shoulders outwards on this side and then I'm gonna turn it down So at the shoulders, I'm gonna draw a curve line out from this point here, all the way out, and we're gonna mirror the the whole arm on the right side here. And then on the For the right side of her main body, I'm gonna start from this point here and do a curve down and out and then back in and down and then back out. And then I'm gonna go back to the left side of her body
and we're gonna draw um, at that point where we stopped a line here upwards and then turn it to the side and then I'm gonna turn it back down on this side with a semicircle corner there and then turn it back out as you reach the lower point here and extend it a little bit further out and then I'm gonna turn it back up and then turn it back in at the top and then make a diagonal line downwards and then back in and down and then diagonally out and down and then on the top corner of that whole shape I'm going to draw a small circle and at this point here I'm going to draw another one and another one and another one at the bottom now below that whole thing I'm going to draw a rectangular shape on this side here and then I'm going to add a line at the right side of that rectangle and a line across slightly above the center line here and then below that whole shape I'm going to draw a curve line down up to the knee and then I'm going to draw a semicircle to the side at the knee and then a curve line below that and slightly out and back in and on the right side I'm gonna just continue that line all the way to this downwards and slightly above the knee I'm gonna stop there and then draw a curve line out and then in the middle of her pants we're gonna draw a curve line across and slightly off center on the left here I'm gonna draw a curve line down and then I'm gonna do a curve out and in and out and in and out and back in and then I'm gonna join those two points together with a curve line across and then at the knee I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape like that and then below I'm gonna draw a curve line like that and inside of this shape I'm gonna draw I'm gonna trace the whole thing on the top part and then we're gonna we're not gonna draw all the way down but we're gonna draw stop halfway down and do a shorter rectangle and then I'm gonna do another one inside on the lower part there Now at the above the knee pad, at the side of this small rectangle, I'm going to draw a curve line across to the inner line of the pants and another one above that. And then for the upper piece, I'm going to draw another one, another strap there. And then I'm going to go back to the right side of the pants and draw off center to the right curve line down and then below that I'm gonna draw a semicircle the side and join those two points on the sides together with the curve line across and then below on the back side here I'm gonna draw a short line down then turn it to the side and then turn it down with the semicircle turn then go back out and down and then go and make a semicircle turn to the right 
and in between the shape I'm gonna draw a curved line from the center point here outwards and then for the inner part I'm gonna draw a straight line down and then at the bottom point there I'm gonna draw a curved line out similar to the upper shape and then in between of the upper point and the lower point on the right side here I'm gonna draw a curved line out and then back in and I'm just gonna join this point here and then I'm gonna trace the shape on the upper part here in the inner section there and also at the sides here and also the lower point there now I'm going to go back to this space here I'm going to draw a curve line down and then below that whole thing on the right I'm going to draw a curve line for the inner side here and draw another one curve line down there and draw that across and for the front part, I'm going to draw a curve, short curve line in the front and then at the lower point here, I'm going to draw a curve line up and back inside and then make a semicircle turn corner there downwards and then I'm going to do a diagonal turn to the front and then down and then below that, I'm going to draw a curve line across and a short line at the back and front and then below that curve line on the left side here I'm going to draw a curve line there and draw a curve line across to the front and then below that band on top I'm going to draw a line downwards at the front like that and then at the back side here, I'm gonna draw the, where the boot starts, curve line down, all the way to the to her heels. So we're gonna draw outwards as you reach the bottom, and curve it back out. For the front part of the boots, I'm gonna draw. I'm just gonna extend that curved line in front, downwards, and front, and then I'm gonna make a turn back down, and then go back to the front of the shoes and curve it slightly straight front. And as you reach the tip of the shoes, I'm gonna turn it downwards with a semicircle turn. And then for the base of the shoes, I'm gonna make a diagonal line to the front. Now I'm gonna draw from the heels here, a curve line to the front. And then I'm gonna draw, change the direction upwards and then to the front and then go back down and all the way to the front tip of the shoes. Slightly above the lower point, I'm gonna draw across a line there. Now around here I'm going to draw a curve line across to the front and another one below that. On the sides I'm going to continue this line from above going straight down until that point there and I'm going to turn with a semicircle turn to the front part. Now below that shape, I'm gonna draw a curve line like that, and another one here, and join the two together with a small semicircle. And we're gonna repeat that here as well. And at the side here, I'm gonna draw a circle. Same goes to here. And then we're gonna draw the left boots. I'm going to draw a curve line on this side 
make it turn slightly out and then out again and then I'm gonna draw a semicircle turn to the right at the bottom I'm going back to the left side here I'm gonna draw a curve line in and out and in and back out to the base and at the base on each side it's gonna draw a diagonal line down to the side and join the two points together with a curve line across and for the tie I'm gonna draw from on the top point of the boots here a circle and I'm gonna draw a teardrop shape on the side here and another one inside I repeat that on this the right side here and then I'm gonna draw the string shape below that teardrop crisscrossing like that and repeat that on the lower point here all the way down to there and at the lower point I'm gonna draw similar to the shape on the right boots and at both ends at the sides I'm gonna draw that circle and we're gonna just continue that all the way up on that crisscross uh, string there Okay, going back to her, to the side, to the right side of her body, I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape on the right here. Like that. And then in the middle of her belt, I'm gonna draw a circle. then a semicircle inside of that on the side here and a straight line in the middle on both sides and then I'm gonna add another rectangular shape on the right side here And then on both sides of the circle, and draw across to the side a curve line. Now for the right arm, I'm gonna draw the inner line here, a curve line downwards. And for the outer line, we're gonna follow that direction, going down to this side of his, her waist. And then on top of the rectangle, on the at the side of her belt, I'm gonna draw a line across. And then on her on the right shoulder I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape diagonally down to the left side of her belt and then we got on the bottom line I'm gonna do I'm not gonna join them together across but we're gonna draw stop there And then from the inner part of that rectangle on top of the shoulder, I'm gonna draw a curve line across to the lower 
left side of the belt and another one slightly on the right side here then I'm gonna draw a few patterns on her outfit so we're gonna draw from the left shoulder a line downwards and we're gonna turn outwards and then back down and then back in and down to the side now we're gonna repeat that same shape on the right side here so we're gonna draw that shape there and down and below her neck I'm gonna draw a curved line across and on both arms I'm gonna draw a line there and turn it down and on this side I'm gonna draw mirror shape of that and at the bottom here I'm gonna draw a curved line to the outer line of the arm and on her wrist on her the right side here I'm gonna draw a curve line across similar to the left arm and below the wrist I'm gonna draw another curve line across like that now on the right leg I'm gonna draw a curve line across here and another one below that and then I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape on the side like that And that's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and find my videos helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to let me know of your requests, suggestions, or any other comments in the comment section below.